We begin here, though, a little like a game show where they ask deal or no deal. Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Wellshofer, and the state budget is past due. Negotiations continue in Albany with a few issues settled. Steve Brown is here to update us. Steve? Good afternoon, Kate. We live in a digital age, but we're learning that there's still power in paper. As far as the state budget is concerned, until it is printed out, largely on paper, and agreed to and passed by the state legislature and finally signed by the governor, there is no budget deal. And while there is not a deal yet, we well, understand it is in the process and may be close. And yes, the budget was due on April 1st, but Governor Andrew Cuomo and leaders of the state assembly and Senate are still hammering out the final details. Today, the governor was in Queens and once again promoting COVID vaccinations. And once again, the governor's on-camera event was without news media coverage because of COVID concerns. And he limited himself to talking just about the pandemic. But the first step towards renewal is what? Is defeating COVID. Do not get cocky with COVID. So what do we know about the budget? It has been widely reported. It will be over $200 billion and that's a record in it. Higher income taxes for millionaires, which we reported yesterday. Expected to be added mobile sports betting. And there are agreements on a number of items, including a full year of postpartum medical coverage for new moms on Medicaid. Also, nursing homes and other resident care facilities would be required to spend 70% of all revenue on resident care or face penalties. The budget establishes new crisis stabilization centers for people with mental health or addiction issues. And there is also an agreement on establishing centers for medically fragile young adults who have chronic illnesses but do not require a hospital stay. Now coming up at 5 o'clock, we hope to have more details on what's in the budget deal and when that deal might actually get done. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.